Hello, Vislo. Hi, Magdi. How are you? Thanks so much for the lesson. Um, my question emerges from the what if question. So as I understood you saying, we have this body-mind thing which leads to identification, isolation, and eventually suffering. And on the other hand, we have this unlimited, formless, nameless awareness, which is characterized by freedom. So as I hear, it is like either or situation. And my question is, what if it is actually yes and? What if body-mind is actually manifestation of this nameless, unlimited awareness, and both coexist because it's a dance, it's a it's a movement, it's not stationary division. Well, awareness, consciousness, this formless presence is that which you are. You know yourself as I. Nobody knows themselves as a 150 pound body or hundred and now 160 pound body, now 162 pound body. A 12 year old boy does not know himself or a 12 year old girl does not know herself as 45 pound body. They know themselves as I. And they know the body as a female body, a male body. So there is consciousness is that which you are. Now the body, mind, thoughts, perceptions, sensations, you know them as you perceive them. You know them as appearances, you, you perceive them. That which you perceive is not separate from you. So in a way, yes, you also are that which you perceive. I, I would say that that which you perceive is not separate from you. It is your creation. Uh, for example, you may have, you may be a painter. You, you're a painter. And that's what you are as a metaphor. You are the painter. And then there is a, a certain image of a painting that appears to you and you create it. You, you take your tools and you create the painting. You, see? you could say that the painting, the image of the painting and the creation of the painting arose out of you. But you cannot say, I am the painting. You see, yes, you are right in that the painting is not separate from you. The images that arose to you and how the creation that you created is not apart from you, is not separate from you. But you do not walk around and say, I also am the painting. So uh, there is this difference between being and existence. Existence arises out of being. Existence has its source in being. In other words, manifestation has its source in being. But being is not defined as existence. So, Magdi, so in this equation that I do painting, but my identity is somewhere else, who is the one who is just speaking, who is teaching? Who, who is you who is teaching? There's always consciousness. I am not the tool. There is a, there is a body-mind instrument, a biocomputer named Magdi. It's a male biocomputer. It's got a grayish beard. You can describe the weight, the characteristics of the machine, of the biocomputer, of the instrument. But that which is speaking is consciousness. But that computer speaks about consciousness. It doesn't no. speak. The biocomputer does not speak. 
So let me put it this way. When you are using a computer and you're typing an email, it is not the computer which is typing the email. You could say, oh, no, it is the computer which is typing the email, but not really. You are typing the email, not the computer. It's true that the computer is a Mac uh, and it has a keyboard and a mouse, etc. You can describe the computer, but you cannot truly say that it's the computer which is typing, which is writing the email. So in uh, response to your question, who is speaking, it is not the computer which is speaking. It is I. I is the self. I is consciousness, presence, beingness. The same I that is speaking is the same I that is hearing. There's only one I. There are many different computers, many different instruments. There is, I don't know, uh, IBM computer, a uh, Mac computer, uh, uh, all sorts of uh, various uh, tools, instruments, different body minds. Yes, that's true. But there's only one reality, one consciousness. It's important to understand that experientially. Experientially, when you refer to the body, you're referring to Magdi the body, Visla the, the body, a certain age, born in a certain town, mom and dad, different mom, different dad. You're referring to the biocomputer. Yes. But that which is referring to the biocomputer, that which perceives, that which is and knows it is, that which manages the biocomputer, is, is not the biocomputer. It is I, consciousness, the creator and the perceiver. The conceiver, the creator and the perceiver is that one reality. 